Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. This is SA Today. I'm Unati Bagyasha. Let's continue here now. IFP President Velingosini Tlabisa says the party will not form coalitions with the ANC. Tlabisa was addressing the media in Durban. Coalition talks are underway for the 21 hung councils in the province. The IFP has also established a team that will work on outlining the party's role in the hung municipalities where it has the highest number of votes. The party retained 13 municipalities, largely in the northern parts of the province. Now, let's discuss this and other political issues. We are joined via Zoom by political analyst, Professor Beki Mkobezulu. Prof, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Strong words there, uh, you know, from the IFP. What's your take on, on how we interpret what the IFP president has just said? Uh, good afternoon, Sonati, and good afternoon uh, to your viewers. <clears throat> no, I must say that it came as a surprise to me. Uh, just uh, uh, one day ago, I was saying that uh, if uh, the, the, uh, any coalition were to be formed in, in Wazul Natal, for me, the best option would be between the ANC and the IFP. And I was basing uh, that view on the uh, fact that uh, the ANC and the IFP have worked before. And uh, the other option would have been the National Party, I mean, the National Freedom Party, that is the NFP, but then it doesn't have um, uh, enough seats uh, to assist the ANC because they've also worked before. But then when the IFP came out openly saying that uh, they are not going to work with the ANC, this came as a shock, and uh, more especially because we have had the, uh, I mean, Action SA of Herman Mashaba making the same comment that they are not going to work with the ANC. And then uh, you are now hearing the IFP also saying that they are not going to work with the ANC. So the question is, uh, is there something sinister that is happening that you are not aware of? Why would all these political parties not want to work with the ANC? Obviously, uh, the most simple answer would be that uh, the ANC has been in power and it has made mistakes in as far as they are concerned, and therefore they wouldn't want to work with them. But right now, it's not a matter of choice that these coalitions have to happen. Uh, the voters have dictated to the politicians that we have no choice now, we have to work together. As to how they're going to manage it, only time will tell. And Prof, you, you know, you raised some very important points in terms of having no choice but to, you know, form into a collision for service delivery's sake. We know that we've had several case studies presented to us about how other countries around the world, you know, have had political parties coming together to form coalitions and, and governing in that particular area very well. So what then needs to happen, particularly if we, you know, just keep focusing on KZN, we know that the IFP is very strong uh, in uh, that province. Um, but we also know that fundamentally from that press uh, conference that we've heard from the IFP this afternoon, uh, that the IFP is saying that they do not want to go into any sort of power or agreement with a party that is unethical, basically. So how do you then, you know, put, you, you know, uh, ethical issues aside, put your principles aside, come up with new kind of, you know, rules, uh, as it were, to, to try and deal with some of the issues and the problems that are facing the country? How then are we going to find some form of workable relationship between political parties, especially in KZN? Uh, you know what, Sunati, there are a couple of points we need to make clear here. One, we normally um, uh, juxtapose South Africa and other countries. In other words, we compare South Africa and other countries. Mm. But uh, the difference uh, uh, is that um, those countries don't have uh, the 325 political parties that we are talking about. Uh, if, for example, we talk about uh, uh, what, what is happening in, in, in Germany, for example, with Angela Merkel, and then you see what, is, what has just happened in Palestine, we, we are not talking about uh, uh, over 300 political parties. It's a few political parties. And whenever they decide on a coalition, they, they, they usually go for what is referred to as a grand alliance. And the Grand Alliance is when bigger parties come together to form a coalition. That one is easy to manage because we are not bringing together too many political parties with divergent point of views. You are just having one, or two, I mean, two or three political parties, and then you are able to meet the number that is required for you to, uh, to form a government. In the South African context, we have too many political parties, some with one seat, two seats, three seats, and so on and so forth. So if you don't go for the Grand Alliance route, then it means that you have to negotiate to, with too many political parties 
and hope that you are going to find each other. Then coming back to your question with regards to Wazuru Natan and the stance that has been taken by the IFP, the point of departure here is that uh, there is no party that is forced to form a coalition. That one is a fact. The second fact is that uh, constitutionally, these political parties have to constitute councils, municipal councils, within two weeks. That is a fact. But then what happens in that case is that uh, these uh, leaders of political parties have now to work out a mechanism whereby they are going to strike compromise. Because coalitions in their very nature, they involve compromises. If those uh, coalitions are, are decided before an election, it's better because when you, form, when you formulate your, your manifesto, you are then able to read the mind of your other potential partner. But the problem in this case is that uh, there was no uh, prior arrangement before the election that we are going to form a coalition after the 2021 local government election. But it's the voters that have told these politicians that you guys, I, we want you to work together. So basically, it's not a matter of choice. Now, the IFP is clear in saying that uh, they don't want to work with the ANC, and they have not broken any law. That is a fact. It's just them deciding not to work with the ANC. Mm. As to who they are going to work with, it will be their choice, and they already, they've already announced their negotiating team, and obviously they would have given them a mandate who to negotiate with. Now, you have uh, the ANC being number one uh, in some instances, for example, in Netewini, and then you have the DA coming second, we have the EFF coming third, and then you have the IFP. So the IFP has made it clear, doesn't want to work with the ANC. So now the ANC is left with the EFF and the DA. And in all probability, there is a better chance of the ANC and the EFF working together, despite the fact that the EFF is going to make a number of demands, some of which I, I don't think the ANC will be able to meet. And then in a worst case scenario, we then have the ANC forging relations with the DA, knowing for sure that they read from the same script. If we're to talk in biblical terms, one is reading uh, the book of Genesis at the beginning, and the other one is already at the end reading the book of the Revelations. So they are far apart. But then the situation dictates that they also have to try and find middle ground. If all of that fails within uh, two weeks, they fail to constitute a council, then the cocktail minister will have no choice but to come in and make sure that uh, the municipality is put under administration, and then within 90 days there is a by election. So that is something that politi politicians have to be mindful of, that uh, if they don't find each other, that is, uh, that is what is going to happen according to the constitutions and the laws of this country. And of course, you, you touched on a very important point there as the ANC is actually meeting uh, in Pretoria, you know, this afternoon to deliberate exactly on those issues. So very interesting developments and, of course, um, crucial, crucial moment for political parties, especially the ANC. Prof, thank you so much for your time and your analysis right here on the show, Professor Beki Mgobizulu. All right, we take a quick break. We'll be back with more of your...